Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and you at another vlog. So today I'm going to make a video about some people are having doubts like when they're going to obturate and when they take the radiograph, they say they see a periapical radiolucency and they get confused whether they should obturate or they should defer. In other words, हमको obturation करना चाहिए कि नहीं अगर periapical radiolucency दिखे. Periapical radiolucency can be of any form like widening of the PDL या फिर periapical lapses जैसा दिखे. तो before starting the video, I am gonna show you one X-ray. जो आप थोड़ा सा एक बार एक नजर डाल लीजिए। तो a patient came to me with problem in the lower 36 and he had pain. 36, 35 region need needed root canal treatment. So I will just show you the X-ray. So as you can see here, the X-ray is very clearly visible, and this is the X-ray of the obturation that I have done. Uh, till not completed, like I have finished the obturation but not cut the gutta percha. So here, here you can see the abscess. Um, now you must be wondering ki why I am, uh, why I have done the obturation but still there is radiolysis the apex. I could have waited much longer and uh, I could have told the patient to come after a month after the radiation disappears. So see in my view when we are obturating if the patient is not having any kind of symptom patient is not having any kind of pain and you have done your perfect BMP up till 6% or 4% 25 if you are doing it until you have obturation perfectly achieved so why to keep the tooth under calcium hydroxide and waste the time of the patient and you also? Patient का calcium आप एक बार दो बार change कर लिए उसके बाद third time में भी radiolucency है उसमें और आप defer कर देते हो तो there can be many circumstances which can happen with the patient. The patient may get busy somewhere else later on. The patient may not come back to you after he may forget. He may think that the patient has, uh, he has already completed treatment and uh, temporary filling and the patient doesn't come for 6-7 months. That's a Because we all know this rule ki in order to, um, for complete bone destruction, right? 30% of bone loss should be there. Sometimes our heart fracture or someone's leg fracture, it takes 6 months to heal. Lagta hai. The bone formation takes minimum of 3 months to completely uh, you can see in the radiograph as a totally radiopaque lesion. So, in this way, in root canal, you have drained all the pus, you have BMP, kar liya. there are no microorganisms left. After that, you, do, you have done a very good irrigation, very good BMP and it's better to obturate rather than wait for 3 months. Because all the infection is not there and automatically the infection will resolve, the radiolucency will resolve on its own. The bone formation will complete after 3 months. But it's necessary that the root canal has to be very perfect. Then only it's possible. So, now I will show you another x-ray. That patient after 2 months. So, I will tell you that I will tell you that I will tell you about this x-ray. So, see this molar tooth. Again, this is radiolucency. The total is going on, but it's a little bit less. So, in the next 2-3 months, it will be completely reduced. So, this is the obturated tooth and this is the root canal is being done right now, the premolar. So, if you don't understand it, there is a simple rule that if you have done a good BMP in any case, if you have done a very good BMP, then you are killing all the microorganisms which are present here. You are killing AA, you are reducing the amount of red complex bacteria, then uh, yellow complex bacteria, then E fecalis, you, sab up, you are reducing by doing a lot of irrigation. And per canal you have to use at least 40 ml of sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite means 5% sodium hypochlorite I use. Karein. What I use sodium hypochlorite is um, uh, this one, Hyposol. It, I feel it's very good because uh, it's 3% sodium hypochlorite. Many companies give 5% also. Uh, I feel this is very good and uh, this company, previous company, I am not promoting it, but personally I feel it's very good. So, if you give lot of hypochlorite solution and clean the canal very nicely, you will get a very good result. So, concentrate on irrigation. If you are looking at radiolysis, but your obturation is perfect, then it will never be reinfected again. And slowly, slowly, it will resolve itself. Now, I will show you again the X-ray again. So, I have made a small video that I have made for the results. 
आप देख सकते हैं कि द रेडिशंसी हैज टोटली डिसअपियर्ड नाउ एंड अर्लियर पिक्चर आई आई कैन शो यू सी द अमाउंट ऑफ रेडिशंसी विच इज प्रेजेंट हियर तो दिस इज द डिफरेंस इफ यू डू अ गुड रूट कैनाल एंड गुड ऑब्जुरेशन यूल बी एबल टू विजुअलाइज द चेंज विद इन सम टाइम आफ्टर यू डू द बी एम बी एंड ऑब्जुरेशन सो आज का वीडियो यही रखते हैं शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट वीडियो और अगर आपको कोई डाउट है तो मुझे आप इंस्टाग्राम में मैसेज कर सकते हैं साई एंड डेंटल मैं रिप्लाई करता हूं लेकिन थोड़ा धीरे धीरे रिप्लाई करता हूं एंड सबको रिप्लाई करता हूं लेकिन तो टेक केयर एंड हैव अ वेरी ग्रेट डे टेक केयर